Hey friends, it's Kelly and welcome back to Mama Needs a Goal. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you're new here, welcome. As you can probably see right behind me, I am about to do a grocery haul. I have not been to Aldi in a couple weeks and I was starting to run low and out of a lot of the things that I stock up on at Aldi so I thought I would do a quick grocery run and then just give you a quick overview of the things that I bought for the month of August. So let me get my camera down, turn it around, and we'll do a quick grocery haul. Alright my friends, so here we go. So we're going to start in the back right there. I picked up two containers of half and half. Many of you that have been following me know that I am now doing um, intermittent fasting and I am not having my coffee and creamer anymore in the morning. So um, I've been, been drinking it black, but my son does love... Um, iced coffee so I've been making that for him and my husband also uses that in his tea so I did end up buying that. I picked up a package of jumbo flaky biscuits. I've got a new air fryer recipe I want to try with that. I also have the crescent rolls. Again I have a new recipe I want to try using those as well. And of course my staples are my sour cream. I picked up a couple non-fat Greek yogurts. I usually get my yo regular yogurts from Aldi, but I was at the grocery store, I think it was Safeway the other day, and they had the um, YoPlay on sale, and they were like 39 cents a piece. So I ended up stocking up while I was there. And then here I have two of the whipped cream cheese spread. We go through that quite a bit. And here I have some red grapes. So this is um, some olive hummus that I bought. I have had this brand, um, oh, I can't think of the name of it. It starts with an S, S-A-B something. Um, and I do not like hummus, but for some reason that looked really good. I picked it up and tried it, and it was excellent. So I saw this hummus at um, Aldi. It's very similar to the one that I have been buying, so I'm hoping it's going to be just as good. So if you tried this one, please let me know. I would love to hear from you because I haven't opened the other one yet, so um, it'll be a little bit before I get into that. And then over here, I have some of the crispy circles or like the tater crowns. We like these better than tater tots. And then this is something I've never bought before. It's hash brown sticks. It's just shredded potatoes like in a... Um, kind of looks like a mozzarella stick and I thought uh, the kids might enjoy that so I thought I'd try it and then I just picked up a bag of curly seasoned fries for the boys and then I have some Colby Jack cheese and then back here we have some chicken broth um, I cannot find they haven't been carrying the cans of chicken broth and I prefer the cans but they're just not carrying them so I'm not quite sure what's going on with that then I have two cans of just um, cut green beans. I have a can container of blueberries. Back there I have some cocoa rice cereal. My husband likes those. I have some Duke's mayo. That's become my favorite mayo. And of course I love these little potatoes. This has been a new favorite of ours in the air fryer. I have some red onion. Some avocado. Oh, I have some avocados, some limes, and then back there we have some sh shells and cheese. The kids like that. This is a new item. They've had this for a while, but I've never tried it. I'm not sure how you say it. Um, tagine or tajan, I'm not sure. But I've been seeing a lot about this on the Aldi page that I follow, so I've decided I'm going to go ahead and try that. Picked up a little bag of sugar snap peas. I'm going to make some stir fry using that. I have some green onions and some asparagus. I'm going to have that for dinner one night and I'm going to cook it on the grill. And then I picked up just a couple bananas. I have some already that are start. They're pretty ripe now, but I wanted to have a couple extra that aren't quite ripe, so I picked those up. And then back there, I have some angel hair pasta and just some spaghetti pasta. I have tons and tons and tons of the penne pasta and the rotini pasta, but I became really low on that and didn't realize it, so I grabbed some of that. And those actually are two-pound boxes, not one-pound box. I have some strawberry lemonade. My son likes that. And then I have the English breakfast black tea that my hubby really likes. 
And then I picked up here some oatmeal cream pies and peanut butter wafers. Again, they're staples in our house. Hubby likes to have one of those with his lunch. And then some big bars. That's another one that he really likes. Picked up some pepperoni. And here in the front, I just picked up some honey turkey breast. Picked up some Canadian ham. Um, I'm going to be having a video coming out shortly using this, and I think you guys might like that. And then there I just picked up some restaurant-style uh, tortilla chips, some uh, pistachios with sea salt. That's kind of been my go-to snack lately. Some little mini bagels. I'm going to be using those in a um, video coming up shortly, too. Some taco shells. And it's so funny because in our house when we have tacos, one person eats taco salad using the shells, another uses the taco shells, another one uses corn tortillas, and another uses flour tortillas. Crazy. A little uh, loaf of garlic bread. I usually buy these. They come fresh. I just throw them in the freezer so that way whenever I decide I'm going to have spaghetti, I just pull it out and always have a loaf of garlic bread ready. And then I picked up the little mini nan breads. Um, again, I've got a really cool video coming out that's going to incorporate some of these things that I purchased. And those of you with children, anybody, this video will be good for anybody, but especially those with children. I have some great, uh, great video coming out for that. And then this is something I've never, I've been seeing this on my Aldi page, but I have not seen it in my store until today. It's keto-friendly wheat bread. Um, this actually only has... It has nine carbs. That is it. It has no sugar added in there. So I'm excited to see uh, what this tastes like. So I could not resist picking that up. And then I have over here a little mini pizza crust for quick, easy uh, lunch. And also my video coming up. Some flour tortillas. And then again, I picked up some low-carb tortillas for myself when we have quesadillas or whatever. So friends, that is it. This is my entire order. How much do you think I spent? My total for everything was a hundred and five dollars and six cents. That's probably one of the higher um, receipts that I've had in a while, which that surprised me. But I, I do feel like even though it doesn't look like a ton of stuff, I did get quite a bit of stuff, especially a lot of frozen items. And, um, you know, I did get some lunch meats there and quite a bit of bread stuff. So that is all that I purchased. All right, my friends, so that'll do it for this month's Aldi Grocery Haul. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section, and I'll get back to you right away. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing as it greatly helps me out. And also sharing this video will help me grow my channel as well. And don't forget to hit that little bell because it will notify you every time I have a new video coming out. And please follow me over on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Mama Needs a Goal. I do post often on those three as well. So friends, thanks again so much for joining me. I really appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you next time. Bye, friends!